So it's 9.30 at night, and I am so excited about this new ice brew coffee maker that I just got through Amazon. Um, small company, it was like 20 bucks through Amazon. Uh, anyways, they hit me up, they said, hey, we want you to really try this out, put a review up, give us some honest feedback, and you know, super cool, right? So send it to me here, it was like 24 hour shipping from Amazon, great reliable service, everything showed up nice. Um, to pick it out of the box, right, couldn't be happier. So um, it takes 16 to 24 hours to brew. And so I'm actually going to put my first batch in tonight. And then on Saturday morning is I'm gonna have my first cup of iced coffee, so, or cold brew coffee. Um, it's also 9.30 at night, that's why I'm groggy and like tired but i'm so jacked right now i'm so excited about this i'm a caffeine addict through and through and they i don't know if they saw like fitness guy and they're like hey like we want you to test this out because we know you're going to be about that caffeine life so you know lo and behold here i am right so the first step was to fill up the filter with grounds so very simple Right, and you can actually see my other video here for the unboxing to see the whole thing. But um, we're gonna make this super simple here for you guys, right? So um, fortunately I have a uh, French press. So I, when I go to the store and I buy my coffee, I spoiled my wife and got her into like really good coffee, right? Not, like super good, like, but like, it's not like the, you know, Folgers, right? So uh, we get the Kirkland brand, um, they get it from Starbucks. It's great, right? Good stuff. Okay, some of your coffee snobs out there, I'm sure are gonna argue with me on that one. Um, anyways, we have for the Kirk Kirkland Sumatran brand. So we're gonna use that sucker here today, right? By the way, you guys get the benefit of having me with shirt on, but 100% transparency, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. There's no pants. You're not gonna see that, but I just want you to know you guys got the benefit of shirt on, right? Cool stuff. So 100% transparency, my counter is always a little bit messy. Um, lots of stuff going on up there, but I wanted to be able to show you guys. Here is the filter. So it instructs us here to simply just fill it up. Just filled it up. I've got and actually need a little bit more in that, but uh, we're gonna put a little bit more and that way I get the absolute best possible flavor. This is a lot of coffee grounds in here, by the way. I think what, uh, so I'm gonna go up to the line here and we're gonna see how that tastes. Um, but that's a lot of coffee <laughs> grounds in there. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> all right, so coffee's all filled up. Put that sucker back in. So now we have here is the finished you guys can see that right so that's pretty cool all right next step is just fill it up with water so let's get to it right so i'm just going to take a nice cup sorry for poor lighting here Ooh, shadows mm. okay right so let's do that sucker in super fancy dickies barbecue cup okay so once you just saturate the top right I guess that makes sense so they want you to have full contact here with the you know the water and the coffee in there so again this is a coarse ground coffee so we're just gonna let that sink in a little bit Ooh, that's taking some time. Ugh. Okay, so we've got to let that saturate a little bit, right? That's why we read instruction manuals. Read the instructions, boys and girls. You're supposed to have a small gap in there. Right, that makes sense. Air, airflow, it's a thing. Okay, keep pouring our water in. And once that becomes fully saturated here, then it's going to flow freely through that and you can actually start to see that we've got a nice little drip at the bottom bam yeah bringing in that water 
Dude, super pumped about this. Now that we got that dripping a little bit, right? <laughs> Details. Bam. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna keep letting that sucker fill up. All right, so I want you to just slowly pour that in. So I had some of this kind of pour out as I was figuring out the whole instruction manual thing. We're just gonna gently scrape everything in. It's a learning experience here, boys and girls. Oh, the things we do for caffeine, right? And we just let that sucker soak. Oh, I'm so jacked about this. So jacked. So kind of the biggest thing about this is just the time consuming part of pouring the water in, right? So it's got to go through the coffee filter. So you want to dump it through there. It fully saturates the coffee, um, just gets all the flavor out of there. And I've, I've never done this before, by the way, the things I will do for caffeine at this point, just to kind of switch things up a little bit. And I'm not just jacked up off a of pre-workout all the time, right? Kind of nice just to sit there and enjoy a cup of coffee. Um, it's just really time consuming to pour all the water through this. So it's just taking time, right? No big deal, but hopefully you have a really delicious cup of cold brew coffee here in the next day and a half. So stand by. All right, so true story. We started this process about 12 minutes ago. Um, learning experience at all, video editing aside. Um, so about 12 minutes into it and we are currently um, less than just under, I'd say a quarter of the way filled here. So again, just taking a lot of time here for this. Still, Filling it up. So maybe this is the time here for a shameless plug because this just kind of goes right into the next project of mine. It is currently in the process of building a greenhouse in my backyard. Currently waiting for a, um, it's called an in-ground composter. So it just sits right in the garden bed and the worms just go in and out and uh, hoping that I'm gonna have some tomatoes and um, I want a zucchini in there because you know it's gonna be hot so you gotta have some specific um, types of vegetables growing out of there so I think it's gonna work out really well but um, along that here those coffee grounds are gonna be feeding my worms in the next uh, week or so just got those in here today and uh, like I said still waiting for that um, in-ground composter here to come in So still working on this, just over halfway full right now. So it's really coming along, it's pretty cool. And uh, it's just taking some time. You know, I guess we all gotta wait for good things will come along as they come along, right? So we'll see, we'll see how this, see how this party's happening here, all right? Dang! How much coffee is going into one batch, this better be some like heavily dosed cup of coffee for caffeine. I'll let you know how that goes here in a day. We're about to call that. Um, it's getting late and I am a little impatient, but uh, I think this will turn out really well. Right, as that starts to sink in. I think what you'll actually see once I turn this around is you're going to see how uh, the water is actually coming up still a little bit. Um, I just poured the last bit of water in there and it's as it saturates through that coffee, the, the actual grounds, it's filling up in the bottom. So it's slowly filling up that max fill reservoir here that's already established on that uh, jar. And there you have it, folks. So I bet you probably by the time this is done brewing it the, on Saturday, is that that'll be at max fill, just where it's at. So I'm going to go set this in the fridge out in my garage. When you have over $700 in groceries when you go to Costco, you tend to have a couple fridges and freezers here to put everything away. So my garage fridge tends to get filled up pretty fast as well. Um, I haven't been meal prepping or it's outside of my window here to meal prep, so. 
fridge is a little bit more empty than it normally would be. So. That's all she wrote. See you guys here when uh, we try out this coffee in a day. Bye.